<clears throat> so, good evening. For some of you that I haven't met yet, my name is Donnie. Um, Kevin asked Christopher and I to be his best men. Thank you. Um, Kevin and I have been friends for a long time. Like, a long, long time. Like, since when Kevin was born. I can honestly say I've been around for all 28 of his birthdays. Now, growing up across the street from one another, we did everything together, literally everything. But one of her favorite things to do was playing baseball. Started off hitting the ball off the tee, working our way up through Little League. My father, Christopher's father, teaching us all the tricks of the trade. Our mothers, driving us around to all the fields, keeping score, but most importantly, providing for snack night. <laughs> Eventually, we started playing school ball, 7th and 8th grade, JV, varsity. One day, we could start driving ourselves. So our awesome mothers signed us up for driver's ed. Instead of driving home in between classes, I used to take Kevin on the back roads and let him drive for practice. He didn't have his license yet, because I'm the old one. Just a little fun fact for our mothers. Soon we graduated from high school and we went to separate colleges, but we always found time to hang. Occasional weekend, a long holiday, or of course, summer. <laughs> Till one summer we were working then. No more school, we were just working, 40 hour jobs, but one day that changed. I said, Kevin, this whole working thing, just not for me, not, not yet. Going back to school, I'm going to Fredonia. So just like the best friend Kevin has always been to me, he congratulated me with a big old smile, maybe a beer or two. As time went on, school started that year, August 25th, 2008. Kevin came up that weekend because it was a three-dayer. That Friday, we went out. We were like, yeah, we'll go out. We'll pick up some chicks, bro. Fist bump. Minus the fist bump. Ended up walking back that night, just the two of us talking old hunting stories. Night two was different, much different. A lot more time to prepare, no work, no school work to get in our way. So we hit it hard. We hiked to this beautiful, classy dance club called Sunny's. <laughs> Kevin and I walked in there like we owned the place. Ordered a couple drinks. It was only five o'clock. <laughs> Ordered a couple drinks, and the next thing I knew, the two prettiest girls I've ever seen had us out on that dance floor, and we were dancing. Or at least trying to. So like all good things, that night came to an end. And we did the logical thing, we asked for phone numbers. The beautiful girl I was dancing with gave me a big fat no. <laughs> the beautiful girl Kevin was dancing with gave him a number that was one digit short. <laughs> Kevin did not realize this until the next day, which I spent listening to him tell me, oh, she did it on accident. She's so beautiful. We got, we got to see this girl again. Needless to say, he convinced me to go out even earlier that night. And it was a good thing he did, because he found her, the love of his life, and that one digit to finish her phone number. It was over seven years ago today. Well, over seven years ago, I shouldn't say today. Over seven years ago, he learned her first name. And now, we're all brought together, celebrating their marriage, as she takes his last. I always knew these two would be together. They've been through a lot. Long distance love, getting her bachelor's degree at Fredonia, 40 hour jobs in different cities, home ownership, but they've, they've found a way to make it work. They complement each other perfectly. Kevin being the master storyteller. <laughs> Kaylee being the professional listener. And they just make each other so happy. Recently getting married myself, I don't know a lot about marriage. So like a lot of things in life, we'll learn together. But I did want to tell you this. Always tell each other how important each other is. Forgive each other quickly and make yourself laugh. Because that's contagious. 
I love you both so much, and I'm so proud. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. And now we're going to turn our microphone over.